As we have seen in fluid dynamics and dynamics of fluid, we have assumed the fluid as to be an incompressible fluid such as water. Now, let us study the fluid mechanics behind a compressible fluid where the density can be changed. So, let us study what is continuity equation for a compressible fluid. Now, continuity equation arises from law of conservation of mass that is the total mass flow rate or total mass of the system or mass flow rate remains constant. So that means m dot remains constant that is mass flow rate remains constant change in mass flow rate is equals to zero. Now this can be written as that is a rho a into v we know we have seen this that is equals to constant so the change in mass flow rate that is change in a rho a v is equals to is equals to zero now we have seen this so that is we can write mass as density into volume and volume can be written as area into velocity since it is a mass flow rate length upon time will be equals to its velocity so now we have derivative of three terms over here so we have to calculate this so we'll keep for a time being one term as constant that is a into v as constant then we'll take the derivative of this entire part so let us take this so that is rho into derivative of a v plus a v into derivative of rho change in rho is equals to zero now change in area into velocity can be further written as that is area change in velocity plus velocity change in area plus area into v change in its density is equals to zero now let us multiply this inside and let us see what we get so over here or rather what we can do is we can divide a in divide the entire equation by rho rho a v and all the other things will come in the denominator so we'll write down dividing by rho into a into v so let us write down this part so what do we get over here is a into dv plus v into da here we had a rho divided by rho a v plus a v into d uh, rho upon uh, rho a v is equals to zero so now over here this part and this part rho will go away a into v a into v product of the area and velocity will go away what we are left with over here that is area into velocity splitting the denominator into change in area into change in velocity upon area into velocity plus velocity into change in area upon area into velocity upon d uh, rho upon rho is equals to zero now we can cancel these parts also a a and v v so what we'll get this as change in velocity upon its velocity upon change in area upon its area and change in density upon its density is equals to zero so this is what is continuity equation for a compressible fluid flow. So we can integrate this part and we can actually calculate what is. Hmm. I hope you have understood how to calculate this continuity equation for a compressible fluid flow. Thank you.